Welcome to the Health Coach Nation podcast. My name is Haley Rowe. I'm a sales and marketing coach and strategist for health coaches, life coaches, and wellness professionals who want to become a leader in their field by building their online community, rocking their sales process, and finally feeling confident about how they promote themselves and their marketing. On this show, we talk about tips to grow your business, save yourself time, and finally be able to create a sustainable, profitable business. Let's get into it. Today's podcast is brought to you by the Zero to Hero Coach Program. This is my four-month program teaching coaches and online service providers how to grow your online business, book clients consistently, overcome your sales fears, and finally rock your social media visibility. If you struggle to create a sustainable coaching business, this program is for you. Check out HaleyRowe.com and book your free strategy call with my team or myself today. Thank you. Today we're going to talk about one of my new favorite words and one of the biggest takeaways or themes of 2020 and 2021 in my personal business, um, in my business with my business partner. And the reason why I'm sharing it with you is because I think it is something that I wish I would have known a lot sooner in my business. Um, And so I thought I would share it. This live and podcast episode, future Health Coach Nation podcast episode is brought to you by the Zero to Hero Coach Program, which is my online coaching program to help you find and book your ideal clients online, build strong foundations for your business, meaning you know your messaging, you know your marketing plan, you know your options for marketing, paid and organic, and you feel confident crushing your sales online. And what we're going to be talking about in the word, can you guess it? Maybe you can guess in the comments, is leverage. And the reason why I'm bringing up leverage is because to me, one of my biggest ahas and commitments that I'm just like fiercely committed to is protecting my time these last two years. Because I think with the pandemic and everything that's happened, you realize life is short and you have to, um, you know, do the things you want to do and, you know, free yourself up to be able to do those things. And so the word leverage is resonating so deeply with me lately because to me, it means being able to make your biggest impact with the time that you have. And the reason why it's so important is because there's two levels of thinking for entrepreneurs. There's a level of thinking of, I want to make money and I want to, you know, put in the time and the effort and just crush it and hustle. And then there's the level of, yes, I, you know, you might have to do that in the beginning of the business, but there's also a second level of thinking where you're thinking, I want to make the most impact for my time. It's not about how much I do and check off of my to-do list, but I want to have the most impact per hour or per unit of work that I possibly can have. And so in order to shift into a real stage where I felt like I was leveraging my time, I had to face a lot of, of changes in my business, meaning I onboarded a team to help me with my calls um, with potential clients and that was really hard because I thought well what if you know what if this happens what if this happens and it was a messy training process but I can tell you they are much (laughs) they are amazing and they help I get such positive feedback um, from people who've had calls with my team because they help them so much on these calls and it was a big turning point where I had to release loosen the reins, release the control, but it ended up being a huge, hugely beneficial thing for my business. And so I think that um, that was one shift that allowed me to leverage better. Another shift that, and, and really what's the most rewarding about leverage is when you see it uh, pay off. And what I mean by that is I was on, I was kind of, you know, enjoying my time in Hilton Head Island recently and my team was still 
doing their thing. And you, there, I was making sales while I was on my trip, which is like the most amazing thing to see your business come full circle and it's not just you anymore. And so um, that was like super exciting. So my suggestion to you, if you're afraid to loosen the reins in your business, if you're afraid to um, go through the messy process of ha getting leverage by expanding your team, by outsourcing when it's scary to outsource, maybe you don't, you know, you're not sure how long you can outsource um, because of your budget or things like that, my suggestion would be to start small, start messy, but do it because you're not, you're going to stay stuck so much longer if you are stuck in the mentality of, you know, I'm just always, always, always going to do, do, do more um, rather than how can I make the most impact and how we do that can involve other people, can involve collaborations, can you know, be outsourced, whatever, right? Um, it's a much better way to come at it. The other thing is look at, it, it, the, the thing that leverage allows you to do is look at everything more um, compartmentally in your business and objectively. So one of the first questions you have to start asking yourself if you really want to leverage is start asking yourself on a daily basis, is this the best use of my time for my business? Is this gonna allow me to make the biggest impact for my clients, which is the most important thing, your clients, right? So if you're spending time on dumb stuff like making graphics for your social media posts, that's not helping your clients. So what can you do to have leverage be more of a CEO overlooking your business rather than in the business, as they say. And how can you better leverage your time, leverage a team, leverage co uh, collaboration, partnerships, and um, really be somebody who is a CEO and not just the employee of your business all the time. And the other thing you have to ask yourself is what's truly a value in my business and what can I just stop doing or let go because it's not doing really anything, right? So um, that's another scary question to ask because so often we think we need to be doing some certain things because we're either told by gurus we need to be doing them or we put pressure on ourselves to be doing them and just simplify and ask impact per hour. How can I increase it? What is the legacy I wanna leave behind? Big picture, what do I wanna be doing? And now on a detailed level, how can I do this in a way that's leveraged? So if you have any questions about outsourcing in your business, about how can you create more leverage, about what are the systems you need, what do you, what's the order or the process you would do something like this in, I want you to go ahead and comment, call below on this video. But if you're listening to this on the podcast, you can go to gopowerplayer.com, which is my business partner and my website, um, and book a call with us and see and, or our team and see how you can be leveraging more in your business, doing more in less time, making more of an impact and doing, freeing yourself up to do the creative work and the stuff that you're meant to be doing, which is coaching your clients, improving your programs and things like that. And, um, and we could talk more about that on a call. And the last thing I want to say about leverage is I'll give you one more example. I was finally able to spend a full day just going into my programs and saying, what do I want to update about the algorithms or whatever, right? And doing that. And it was so refreshing because normally, um, not saying I never have time to do that, but a full day, it was just like, you, you start to, as you start to leverage and create systems and stuff, slowly you start to see these little moments that are just milestones and you're like, oh my goodness, uh, this is so exciting that I had the chance to do this and I, you know, free and free. <laughs> I am free. I have systems. Everything's flowing. Um, that kind of thing. So it takes discipline to build systems and create leverage, but you also don't have the option not to because otherwise you will be forever just going to the next thing, the next thing, and then the next thing. So I hope that this helps you and it was just one of the themes I wanted to share from 2020 and going into 2021 and um, have a great evening. Talk to you soon.
Thank you so much for listening to today's episode. And if you liked it and want to reserve your very own free sales audit, go to HaleyRowe.com slash strategy hyphen call to book your very own free sales audit. On the call, we'll talk more about the common concerns you get from your ideal clients, how to overcome those concerns, how to coach through objections, how to change your mindset around sales and improve your sales process so you can be closing and converting more clients. I can't wait to connect with you and go to HaleyRowe.com slash strategy hyphen call to take the first step. Thanks so much. Have a good day.